I'm a DJ in bar, going to decentral, making NFT, I'm a DeFi use, being crypto poor but J Making DeFi more accessible is absolutely important to this ecosystem. Making it more understandable is as well. So please join me in giving a round of applause for our next speaker representing Cadix. We have Nicholas Ramsrud. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Nicholas Ramsrud. I am the CEO of Cadex, where we're building the next generation of scalable DeFi. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the next generation of DeFi, what that looks like, as well as um, kind of what it takes to get to this next generation of adoption, namely in how scalability is going to be the key to enabling simplistic protocols that ease onboarding of adoption. So let's talk a little bit about DeFi in its current state uh, and the problems that it brings to the table so that we can understand why CADEX is solving important problems. DeFi sucks, and I know that this is part of uh, my role in, in helping this be solved, but DeFi today is really intermediate level crypto. It is crypto that is not going to be the next step after somebody goes and creates an account on Coinbase. It's not going to be the next thing that they do. It's a mess of wallets, layer ones, layer twos, and bridges that drive unbelievable amounts of complexity, having to navigate through protocols, trading, learning how to trade on AMMs, learning the risks associated with providing liquidity. And it's all really surrounded by this world of poor UX and UI really in the context of Web2, because those are the users that we want to gain access to, right? And it's all costly to the users. It has concepts like user pays, transactions with gas that increase with congestion, slippage where users don't really know exactly what kind of price they're going to get for trades unless they understand how liquidity plays into that, minor extracted value, as well as complex concepts like impermanent loss. And this all brings stagnation to adoption. If we have this complex thing to the users, we just won't get the users to come. So why? Why is it this way? Well, just like there is the blockchain trilemma where the problem is always a balance between scalability, security, and decentralization, there is this blockchain or DeFi dilemma, whereas the cost and complexity to the user is a balance between that and the on-chain simplicity of the protocol. So if you want to create something that is easy for the user, just in, in regular um, software development, you create a more complex back-end world, you would create a more complex on-chain protocol to abstract that complexity away from the user. Now, if you do that on a blockchain that cannot scale very well, what you end up doing is creating something very costly to the user. So in the world of DeFi we see today, they've created simple protocols and let the users figure out how to navigate through them, how to use them, and how to get the most out of the protocols. So we came to understand that infrastructure is really the thing that telegraphs and pushes this complexity to the users. It results in gas costs that increase as there is congestion on the network, minor extracted value, whereas miners or other entities try to take advantage of profit opportunities by uh, conducting gas auctions that drive gas costs further up and ultimately res result in a lot of users' transactions failing. Again, it, now, it creates a need for users to navigate through complex layer one, layer two solutions, bridging here and there, just so that they can participate in DeFi. So what it all comes down to is an issue of scaling. Scalable layer ones would therefore allow us to create more complex protocols that allow us to abstract the complexity of these things away from the user, enabling adoption. So how? Well, it really starts with the layer one. The layer one is the key driver to all of this. So enter Kadena. Kadena is a highly scalable, multi-chain proof of work layer one. I know that is, it's, a, it's, it's a lot to say in one sentence, so I'll, I'll unpack it a little bit. So Kadena 
has really solved the trilemma in being able to add parallel blockchains. All of these parallel blockchains can be dynamically added as needed in the network, all being connected through pr proof of work consensus. Now, others have tried to do this, but where others have failed in that the, con the communication required to gain consensus, it just exponentially increases and uh, eventually fails. Kadena has solved this with unique graph theory that allows this to happen and linearizes communication protocol into the future. They also add or introduce a new Turing incomplete on-chain stored human readable smart contract language called PACT. This is, makes it easier for developers to create safe and easy to audit code that is stored on-chain on the blockchain. So with this and the addition of other novel concepts in Kadena, it enables for the first time Web 2-like business logic to work on blockchain applications, where you can actually abstract interacting on a blockchain completely away from the user. So how is Cadex taking advantage of this infrastructure? Well, the first thing was to remove gas from the equation for users to take away the need for users to understand gas paying, understand or hold gas paying tokens. It also allows us to start getting creative on the way that we construct the decentralized markets. This way we've been able to reduce the number of pairs, every uh, token trading against the KD8, the Kadena token. And whereas normally in a DEX this would require a user then to have to hop from pair to pair to get the token they want, we created composable trades. So on the front end, all the user has to do is select the token they want to give and the token they want to receive. And because we pay for gas via gas stations, we handle the rest. We're also able to reduce a lot of the complexity around providing liquidity. Whereas normally a user would have to understand that it needs to, that they need to provide 50% of this token and 50% of this token in value, we no longer need to do that on CADEX. Since we, again, we pay for all interactions on the, on the protocol that we've created, they just provide one side of that liquidity pair and then the protocol will swap for the rest and provide that also. We've also been able to create through this a, a complex programmatic and dy dynamic impermanent loss coverage functionality to reduce the risk model for uh, liquidity providers so that they don't have to worry about the risk of impermanent loss as well as then the profit that they can possibly gain by uh, the fees on the platform so that they just have to worry about whether they want to provide liquidity and get the fees associated with that behavior. It also allows us to create more complex DAO mechanisms to truly, for the first time, enable DeFi sustainability. This is very important in creating a DAO that actually starts to approach more traditional business structure where you have silos of skills and stratifications of roles so that they can enact real world functionality to create DeFi for the future. And this is all while being a forward scalable multi-chain DEX that is poised to usher in this future of adoption by being able to scale across many chains and bring in this next era of adoption with Web2 users. So that is all, oh, I did good on time. Woo. That is all I have for you guys. Caddx, please check us out. I'm sure I added, I created more questions than I did answers. So I'm very happy to talk about this stuff further. So please feel free to engage me outside. Follow me at Nicholas Ramsrud and at CADEX Official. Thank you so much.